Prince Harry tracking at number two. The 32-year-old opening up about his mission to modernize the monarchy and the torture of losing his mother, Princess Diana. I think losing your mother at such a young age does end up shaping your life massively. Of course it does. The 32-year-old royal now revealing his mother's funeral procession scarred him. I used to bury my head in the sand and just let the sort of everything around you just sort of tear you to pieces. In a Newsweek exclusive, he says, quote, my mother had just died and I had to walk a long way behind her coffin surrounded by thousands of people watching me while millions more did on television. I don't think any child should be asked to do that under any circumstances. <clears throat> Everyone can suffer. He was drinking too much, he was smoking too much, he was spending time with scantily clad girls, and I think he didn't want to face how unhappy he was. He's 32 now, and like a lot of men here 32, he's sort of calming down. Our royal insider Newsweek's Angela Levin spent a year following the prince. I think he's charismatic, he's charming, he has some of the royal magic, he's very good with people, he smiles a lot, incredibly energetic, but now and then there's a little sort of worrying, impatient look that takes over his face, and I think that's because he's still working on his issues. Fifth in the line for the throne, Harry surprisingly dropped a palace secret in the article out now, saying, quote, we are involved in modernizing the British monarchy. Is there any one of the royal family who wants to be king or queen? I don't think so but we will carry out our duties at the right time. He wants to be ordinary. He, he longs to be ordinary, which means going to the big supermarkets and getting his own food, um, sh that sort of shopping. Very anxious to make something of his life, to make a mark. He doesn't want to be just known as Prince Harry.